Well, fans of the Missouri Tigers and those hated Texas Longhorns are spewing copium and tears everywhere. And Lincoln Riley still can't seem to land elite defensive talent. What a tough week for teams Oklahomans hate. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Hall of Fame College Football's Sooner Magic Podcast. I'm your host, Jason Watkins, and if you love college football, especially the Oklahoma Sooners, you know you're in the right place. So before you forget, smash that red subscriber button, like our videos, and don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss one moment of Hall of Fame College Football. If I seem a little more upbeat this morning, it's because I am. Feels so good just to see those poor fellers throwing temper tantrums everywhere. <laughs> poverty programs, let me tell you, poverty programs. Hey, before we get into all that, I want to take a moment to shout out our partners at Hall of Fame College Football, Mint Mobile, where you can score the best deal in wireless, bar none, with no salesperson required, while not sacrificing service speed or anything you're used to with your big wireless carrier. Except, of course, that feeling of being financially violated each month when your bill arrives. You heard me correctly. By logging on to our partner website, trymintmobile.com slash HOF, you can ride the wave of the largest 5G network in the country, get unlimited talk, text, and data for three months and pay just $45. That's 15 bucks a month for unlimited talk, text, and data. And if you're a little bit skeptical about the service at Mint Mobile, just do what I did. Sign up, but keep your big wireless carrier until the three months is up. That way, you can use the same phone that you have. Test both services against each other, like I did. And if it doesn't work out for you, no harm, no foul. I only had to keep my Verizon stuff for about a month. Mint Mobile works perfectly, but I don't expect you to take my word for it. I expect you to go give it a shot. For 45 bucks, it's worth it because guess what? As I've told you before, I pay for two lines. It's 200 bucks with Verizon. Now, for those same two lines, even after the third month is up and it'll be up next month, all it will be is 60 bucks a month to keep the same unlimited talk, text, and data. That's $140 worth of savings every month. Multiply that by 12 and think about the money that you're going to save by trying out Mint Mobile. You're going to help the show by doing it, guaranteed, but I also think you help your pocketbook even more. Give it a shot. Thank me later. Well, the last 36 hours have been... Quite the wild ride for fans of the Oklahoma Sooners, haven't they? Quite the wild ride. Yeah. I mean, our Sooner coaching staff led by Brent Venables and co-defensive coordinator Todd Bates just signed their sixth elite defensive line prospect since December. And they did it with SEC rival programs like Texas, Mid-Zoo, and LSU and even apparently USC in hot pursuit all the way down to the last minute. But to the surprise of even some in the OU fan base, the good guys did prevail this time. In this battle between good and evil, the good guys finally prevailed. And they upgraded an already good, an already very good, Defensive line, making it flat out elite, folks. That's just really all there is to it. 
still within seconds of Hayes Fawcett dropping his edit that announced Dominic Williams would be an Oklahoma Sooner, the Twitter world exploded. Twitter world exploded, and three of four of those fan bases begin. Lots of copium, lies. I haven't had a Texas fan mention OU this offseason once. They're not being being haunted by that goal line stand? Not even a little bit. They They went in, they won the conference, they made it to the playoffs. And... That game is just stupefied bringing it up. OU's like, we won that game last year. Ha, ha, ha. And Texas fans are like, man, I hadn't thought about that game once. I don't get the sense that Texas fans are thinking about Oklahoma at all right now. And... Of cries. Plus, a Twitter space hosted by a shorthorn who actually believed that Oklahoma didn't really need defensive line help, but somebody to replace Gavin Freeman. Not only that, but you had our buddy, Sean Onikuno, accusing a Texas content creator of what he termed intellectual dishonest. Some, and it's some clown that goes by the name of Ketchup or Catch Up or oh, Ketchum, something like that. Yes, Sooner fam, it is indeed Oklahoma against the world. And I got to tell you, I'm here for it all. Listen. You know me, Texas fans, I've had mention that OU game to me last year and say, this left a negative taste in my mouth. How many? None. Really? Texas went to the playoff. Yeah. And, 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 and I've been saying this. The Texas OU rivalry means less... This is the least that rivalry has meant since Texas was playing in the Southwest Conference. Listen, I say let the haters say whatever they want because the louder it gets concerning how elite Williams is or isn't, how many games OU will or won't win in season one in the SEC, or how much better their coach in comparison to our beloved Brent Venables the more we know just how much they fear in their hearts what this Oklahoma program is and will be in the immediate future. That's just a fact. Hey, don't let the words confuse or deter you from the facts, Sooner Nation. No, no. Focus on the tone coming from their voices and the letters strung together on your phone screen and intended simply as a coping mechanism for their intense fear. Not to mention the pain they feel from, as usual, taking a big fat L from the University of Oklahoma. You're welcome. I'd like for you to think about a couple of things, really, while reading or watching The Clown Show. You got to do this. First, you should always take a moment to stop and laugh at circus clowns, especially ones like Tim Prangley, Jeff Ketchup, Catch Up, or oh, Ketchum, is that right? Whatever. And the absurd statements coming from all corners of the fan bases of Texas, Mid Zoo, and Suck. I mean, S U C, Suck. 
Oops, SC, sorry. <laughs> Lies like those stating that their university sits on some moral or financial high ground when it comes to recruiting NIL and the transfer portal. Those lies include things like what Texas was saying, that they simply were not willing to pay whatever fictitious sum they were told Oklahoma was willing to pay and pony up for a guy that was a rotational piece or three-star talent. Come on, guys. We know what this is. And you had to have expected it because this is what you get, particularly from Texas fans. It's almost as bad as Oki Light fans and Mizzou fans, I think, might be worse than all of them, right? Then, and honestly, I haven't heard a ton out of LSU, which is good. But I got to tell you, I turned on uh, one of my favorite shows from definitely one of my favorite bros. My guy, USCJ, he did a state of the program address last night live in a, in a tie, a shirt and tie that made him look rather presidential and tried to talk Trojan fans off the ledge for the fact that if you didn't realize, Dominic Williams is actually from Torrance, California. Yeah, Torrance, California. And that... Yeah, that kind of drove him nuts. <laughs> That's driving USC fans crazy that actually Jermaine Lolay is also a Southern California guy. Both of them are at Oklahoma. It even bothered USCJ a little bit. I understand it. He's our boy and everything. But the good news is, is he was just trying to tell him to calm down. Everything's going to be okay. They're going to be fine out there in La La Land. He might be in La La Land to think so, because as we know, you know, this is not this is not new that Lincoln can't seem to land those elite guys because they never seem to get it done. Meanwhile, back on the plains in Norman, we are continuing to see Brent Venables and this amazing staff just pull in amazing recruit after amazing recruit. And they're not doing it with money. I don't care what they're saying at Texas that the one time that, yeah, maybe they got outbid. I don't know what the bid was. I don't care. I've heard that it could be high. I, who, none of us know that it hasn't been released publicly. And why would you believe anything coming out of the mouths of a Missouri creator and particularly a Texas creator like this ketchup guy? Why would you believe in those guys? They don't know shit. Bobby Burton was saying yesterday, I saw something the day that was released the day of um, Thursday, which was the night that he was supposed to give his decision, and he finally did. But he was saying that this thought of 1.2 million, that there's no, he even said, there's no way that, that that's what the number is or whatever. And not even just uh, Texas isn't going to do that, and I'll tell you, neither is Oklahoma. And now, of course, the tone changes. You knew it would, but it is what it is. This is what you get from those that clown show down in Austin. They're so excited about the one year that they make the playoffs, the first time they've won a conference title in, what, 14, 15 years. They still didn't get anywhere. They had it wide open for them to win the whole thing. And yet, you know, supposedly Oklahoma now needs him way more. We didn't want that guy anyway. All those tweets that you know you've been seeing. It's copium at its finest. But if you haven't gone over there and watched Onikuno and his little take on the ketchup guy, and his intellectual dishonesty, you got to go check it out. I'll put it in the description uh, so you could go do that after you watch this. Guys, in the end, here's the deal. It's always good to win recruiting battles against Texas. It's always good to win recruiting battles against Lincoln Riley. 
I don't know how much of a battle it was, how much they were in it. There was a lot of rumors towards the end that he might have been. I don't know. I know it bothered those folks in the USC live stream for USC Jay. I know it did. And it even bothered Jay a little bit. You could tell. I don't blame him. They're looking for defensive line help for Bear Alexander. They've lost a couple of guys in the portal already. And I don't know how many people, how many bites they're really even getting. As far as mid zoo and drink are concerned, who cares what they think? This is the most irrelevant program in my mind of all of them. Even though only by a little bit. But I will say this, and I did tweet this last night. Um, you found out that Barrow, the defensive lineman who was probably the next best good thing out in the transfer portal for the springtime, Michigan State defensive line, Simeon Barrow, chose not Texas, not LSU, but Miami. Now, what kind of poverty program do you have to be, Texas, to lose a player to a school that's been irrelevant longer than you that resides in a conference that may not exist by the time the season starts. This is a bad look, sir. This is a bad look, Chris Del Conte, Sark. <laughs> I can't help it. Folks, I don't know what's going to happen with these guys, but one thing I do know, and this is something I'm going to say again, all this ridiculousness first towards Todd Bates over the last couple of years has got to stop. There are people in the Oklahoma fan base that owe Todd Bates an engraved apology. An engraved apology. Get your chisel out and chisel I'm sorry and send it to Bates. Or just get on Twitter and flood him with we're sorry, Coach Bates, we're doubting you. He has proven why in, in 2020 he was Rivals Recruiter of the Year again. Five blue chip defensive line prospects in the 2024 recruiting class. He added, along with Miguel Chavis, they added what one, two, they've added another three or four in the portal and PJ Adebaware last year which is another five-star. Now you add a freshman All-American defensive lineman in Dominic Williams and a guy that has been solid as long as he's healthy but will be a very good depth piece in Lole out of Louisville. In this cycle, this is all good things. If you don't, Give Coach Bates his love. Shame on you. And that goes for the rest of the country, too, by the way. All you SEC creators, you Texas clowns, whatever, and the national folks that just seem to believe that Oklahoma doesn't have what it takes to compete in the SEC week to week to week. They're not ready. They're not ready along the uh, in the trenches. Wake up. Or don't. But get ready because it's coming. Oh, it's coming. And unlike Coach Prime, it ain't going anywhere once it gets here. Hey, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, you know, I'm just trolling a little bit. It's fun. No offense intended, particularly not to my guy, USCJ. I don't care about the um, that other dude, the ketchup guy. Screw him. And Bobby Burton. But USCJ is my guy. You know how I feel about Lincoln. Let me know what you think in the comments about what you saw this week. Are you excited about where these Oklahoma Sooners are headed? And I'll catch you on the next one.